In this video, I'm going to cover all of the Dubsado integrations that you can use to connect Dubsado to your favorite apps. So let's dive in. Hi everyone, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer and I love to teach people how to use client management systems like Dubsado. There's a bunch reviewed on my channel if you want to check out all the individual features and comparisons on this playlist. Uh, if you do end up going with Dubsado, use my code DESIGNBYLANI for 30% off your first month or year. So in order to find the Dubsado integrations, you're going to click on your settings and then you'll just go down to integrations here. And there are four main integrations you can use with Dubsado. The first one is going to be video conferencing and you connect it right here. In order to do this, you have to set up a calendar sync within Dubsado so they have your calendar available. If you wanna set up Google Meet as your conferencing platform, you'll have to use a Google Calendar in your syncing, but otherwise you can choose from eight by eight, uh, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, or GoToMeeting. So there's a few different options for setting up your conferencing based on which account you have and which you want to integrate with. The next one is going to be QuickBooks, so you can automatically connect your Dubsado account to your QuickBooks account. One thing I'd caution you on with this is if you are using Stripe, Square, or PayPal as your payment processor, then QuickBooks is going to get a little confused. So for instance, if you charge someone $100, the invoice is going to say $100, but then Stripe is going to take out 3% of their fees before the money comes to you. So you'll have a $100 invoice and then you'll have like a $97, it's not exactly right, but a 97 ish dollar invoice payment that comes into QuickBooks. And so there's going to be a little confusion there and you kind of have to match them up a little bit more manually. I personally don't have Dubsado hooked up to my QuickBooks. I do have my Stripe account hooked up to QuickBooks and my bookkeeper goes in, I think it's once a quarter and does all of the fees at once. So they're not connected by invoice. And that's not to say that it's necessarily the right answer for you. Make sure you talk to your accountant or your bookkeeper about this. Uh, but that is what happens with mine. So I don't actually have Dubsado connected directly to my QuickBooks, but I also accept payments from a lot of different places. If Dubsado is going to be one of the only places that you accept payments, then it might be a better option for you to connect to QuickBooks. And Another thing that's coming out soon is Dubsado payments, in which case the payment will be taken out directly from Dubsado. So that invoicing and connection to QuickBooks will be a little bit more seamless. So if you are using Dubsado payments as a payment processor, which is awesome, they have really low fees, then you can absolutely uh, do that QuickBooks integration. I think it'll be a little bit more seamless. Some of you might have questions about using the accounting features in Dubsado instead of a system like QuickBooks. So I'll do a different video on that. Another one is zero, very similar QuickBooks, and it's going to have those same kind of awkward things with the PayPal fees, Stripe fees, Square fees, etc., and the invoices that go into zero. So these are both very similar, and as soon as Dubsado payments comes out shortly, I think it's going to be a little bit more seamless of an integration. And then lastly, we have this Zapier integration. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it, but this is going to connect you to a lot of different systems. So it doesn't seem like there's a lot of integration here in Dubsado, but when you add in Zapier, there's going to be so many different options. So you can connect it to MailChimp, you can connect it to your SMS text, to Google Sheets, to Face, uh, to Flowdesk, to so many different places. And this is just a few of them. So if you keep loading these <laughs> Dubsado things, there's so many popular things that you can do with Dubsado and Zapier. So I think you know, integrations is a place where Dubsado falls a little bit short of some of the other platforms. Check out our video that we did for HoneyBook and also for 17 Hats on their integrations. Um, but Dubsado doesn't have a lot, but then when you connect it to Zapier, you get a lot more capabilities there. So I think this is probably the most powerful of the integration. And this is only just, I mean, I'm still scrolling, <laughs> still loading more, and there's so many things that you can do uh, from Dubsado here in Zapier that are already set up, not to mention the custom templates that you can create in Zapier to connect Dubsado to all the other systems that you use. I hope this video helped you understand all the integrations that are available in Dubsado. If you're interested in checking them out, please use De Design by Lainey or the link in the description for 30% off your first month or year, and check out all of our other Dubsado videos here on the channel. Thanks everyone.